Done We're here with Sang Mode. It's one. Alex. Yes. Xander and Ken and uh, he's gonna open up the garage right now and we're going to see what this big surprise we're is so check out them things you know with technology I could have got buried in my my pocket <laughs> the... all right Calm down a little bit. I'm really excited. I am here with Stang Mode. He's right here. I'm gonna introduce him real quick. You guys probably know him, but this is Stang Mode. What's up, baby? There is probably several of you that know the history in this car, but um, those of you that don't, let's ask him where this car started to where it's at now and how it got there. Yeah, um, I got this car in December 2017. It was one of the first people to have a, a 2018 third gen Coyote. And one of the cool things about it was no one knew that these were so much faster than the 15 through 17 NA and the 10 speed was new and the digital dash was new and we had a whole awesome experience uh with rob tuning it we went 10s na one of the first people to do it outside of like Sita, who's not i'm not a shop i'm just a dude and we were hurting feelings all over the place and then we put the vmp odin kit on there first to eight stock block has not lost a drag race this car has never lost a drag race and i'm really proud of that and this car has always been helpful to me the only thing that gave up on me here and there was the 10 speed but we're doing we were still learning how to 10 speeds get built, but this car is just set up from the bees. It actually is a reason we are staying mode and we were able to do so much. So it means a lot to me. This car has some special juju in it, some special sauce, and it's gonna go to a good home. And I hope it continues for you. Absolutely. Well, hey, again, I appreciate everything. Letting us stay here, number one. You cooked this breakfast. Honestly, I've been fed, uh, felt like family. It's really cool. We're gonna get to uh, the next video where it's gonna be absolutely crazy. There's gonna be a lot of different things that are gonna happen in the next video, but they're gonna be a little bit of teasers. Can't give you guys everything just yet, but I'm super excited. Um, we're gonna go enjoy the rest of our day and our time. I took vacation, so you know, might as well just enjoy it. Again, when we get back home, just do a bunch of content with this car. There's so much to do so much to accomplish with this thing. Um, I mean, the possibilities are endless, but stay tuned for the next one. I'm so excited for Colton and we're gonna do today, we're gonna walk around and talk about what Mamba it has on it. It's not just a high horsepower car, but it's got a lot to it. We're gonna go through the nuts and bolts, the details, and of course, all that went into this beautiful car. Some of the things, for example, this is a really cool swing out that Colton has for his cage, A50 cage in the car. Let's turn the camera on and talk about what is in Mamba. All right, so, if Cole never loses a race, this is gonna be hitting him on the back. No, I was kidding. So basically we talked about the swing outs. I don't know if you guys know, and you guys know, I used to be a very big visitor of Atco. Atco was my drag strip, which is like, what, 15 minutes from here? Out of nowhere, six months ago, they closed. So what does that mean for me? I don't have a drag strip anymore. And at the time, we did a cage because the rules were to go as fast as Mama was going, you need a cage, you get kicked out. We put a cage and then they changed the rules. And they already changed the rules to 20, was it 2010 or 2015 or newer? 2014. 2014 or newer. But you but you win out of safety purposes too. You got a nice, beautiful cage from Mike Thomas Fab. He also put a nice parachute and a custom drag wing. 
So this wing is made custom by him. It's good for, especially cars like this in a quarter, which go over 150 miles an hour. You have the form lighting rear tail lights are in there. So that's brand new. Shout out to Corsa Extreme Exhaust. Full cat back setup. We did the bare drag brakes. You can see here is we did that to save weight. Opportunity to put crazy drag setups are there. We also have extended studs. And then you go into the vehicle itself. I like my fat guy seat still. So we did the heated cool seats. And you can see here, I'll let you pop in here and you can look in the camera. You can see the cage is perfectly done by my Thomas Fab. So you can still open up the visors, sit down. It's not intrusive. You can still see out of it and it's safe. All beautifully welded to the frame. And of course we have the creature comforts. You have the carbon steering wheel, you have the carbon dash. This was a 401A package, so you still have navigation, heated cool seats, you have the digital dash, the memory seats. I like to keep that kind of stuff. But let's also go to the back here. You have the custom 350 kind of copycat 350R graphics. You still got the light up dash from Ford. So everything is very much trick. Now this is how the, the swing outs work. You just pop this in here, and this is just for racing only, because you want to keep your you know people safe. You pop it in. Done. Get a Cervini's cow hood. You can't have a boosted Mustang without a cow hood. Leave the performance drag pack. Also coming up front, you have the form lighting headlights, brand new headlights there. So you got the nice, the beautiful, welcome lighting. beautiful design form lighting headlights. These are my favorite S550 lights that they come out with. Um, then we have, we talk about obviously the coup de grace. We have the ported intake manifold from 1320 Junkie, personally done by him, the man himself, the boost proof. Also set up for a twin turbo, if you ever wanna change, you're all, you're all set up. Fuel, fuel system, it has all the goodies. This is a stock uh, 5.0, does have oil pump gears. ESS G3R, this is basically like kill mode. This is capable of well over 1200 wheel horsepower. Headers there as well, but well, let's look underneath if you can see. Full and complete Steeda suspension. So you have adjustable suspension, shocks, stop knock kit, sway bar, as you can see underneath there. If you look, a lot of burnout marks, but it has everything in the catalog for Steed Ever S50 is in this car for a drag setup. Adjustable shocks, stop hop kit, you name it, sway bars. This car is made to launch, plant, and go. And that's just a tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of other stuff here. Right now, it's tuned by Rob Shoemaker. Uh, four performance axles, one piece drive shaft, built 10 speed from RSA Race. This car has everything outside of the built motor, is what this car has for the S50 catalog. I'm excited to go into a great home. I can't wait to see what you do with it, and good luck. And if there's more, I'll, I'll let you know. That works. The final drive. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a cold start 85, so it might take a couple cranes.